Good afternoon, people. Happy Thursday. The sun is out. Blue skies. It is a freaking miracle. And it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, fingers crossed, which would be great because honestly, I would love for like one plant event to not be in the rain and cold. It would be so nice if it was sunny tomorrow. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Don't go, dude. Wait for me. Um, anywho, I, kn I know that I said that I was going to do stuff last night. That didn't end up happening. Um, I was, I was, I was zonked. I was so tired. I ended up napping for like five million hours and then, yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's what happened. But today I have... A very busy day actually the next two days are going to be very busy I am on my way right now to Vandula Farms and um, I am filming two videos there today um, I'm gonna be filming a plant tour of their shop and then I'm gonna be filming the behind the scenes of the setup for the Equigenera show there tomorrow so the Equigenera people are supposed to arrive around one o'clock so I'm just getting there a little bit early to film my first video and then once they, they get there then I'll be able to film them bringing in all the plants and it's going to be very exciting because it's one thing to even get into an Equigenera show um, and like be able to like see actually what is there without being swarmed by people so I am pretty happy that they invited me to film today so that I can have some alone time with the plants um, so that's exciting and then tomorrow is another busy day that's the first day of the Equigenera show so Alice and I will be there bright and early we're gonna do early shopping I think I'm just gonna allow myself one plant this weekend I really don't think that I need to be like hauling anything nor can I afford a haul so yeah one plant is my limit and um, yeah, we'll be doing a Q&A and I'm not really sure how much I'll be able to film of the actual Q&A, but I'm going to try. I might try and go on Instagram live. I'm just kind of playing it. Why did I, why did I go behind this truck? Why? So anywho, I'm going to go. Um, I will see you at Vendula. a lot different than the last time that I would have been here. They did so much merchandising. They did amazing. Um, I'm just going to kind of quickly just take you through everything. Their new cards are actually so flipping cute. These illustrations are adorable. Look at this Nicholasiana Max Kowski eye. Got the queen, all all hail the birthday queen. These are so cute. I feel like these are the cards that I need to be giving out. Oh, this one would have been so cute for my best friend. Um, she's got a lot of like trinkets for the house. I am obsessed with this. What? What? Too cute. I want one. We've got one on display right here. Love this too. We've got more boobies over here. Lots. Oh. Um, okay. So this is the brand new potting bar amazing i don't know if you guys remember but they used to have two shelves here and they kept all their like potting stuff there but this is so much better use of their space and this is where they keep all of the um imported plants so i'm just gonna start over here they've got like these cute little air plants a sensitive plant hoya matil and these beautiful beautiful orchids 
these flowers are just incredible. And then we have a Hoya Matilde Monstera Peru for Karsten Nianum. It's really windy today, so the little the ceiling is like flapping everywhere. Um, and then we've got these massive specimens of Alocasia cupria. Sorry if my voice is muffled. I am wearing a mask just in case. I'm still wearing being pretty paranoid about COVID. Um, so we've got this guy. And then this big one. Okay, I need to take off my jacket before I show you the rest of this because it's hot. I'm gonna go back to here. Look at these amazing orchids. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Why am I obsessed with this? It is insane. So beautiful. So over here we have a Hoya. Gosh, Lacunosa? Soniana? I don't know what these are, you guys. <laughs> They're splashy and cute, though. And then over here we have an Imperium Magnifica. What's this? A Mag. A Hoya Carii Variegated. My butt is vibrating. I think this is a vanilla orchid. And then we've got some succulents on this side plus a, what are you? Looks like a Hoya Bertonia, but who really knows? And then um, a Hoya Matilde. Why am I always? I just want to highlight this new Cebu Blue Leaf right here. It is beautiful, it's so big, so long and shiny. Oh, I don't think I showed this one on this side. This is a Ripsalis Spasifera, I believe. Yes. And now we are around the back side. So this is a... I don't know what this is, you guys. My best guess is a Hoya Bertonia, but I'm probably wrong. And then a... Monster, or Monster, <laughs> Ripsalis Bessifera down there. Hoya Matilde, Hoya, oh, Billobata. Hoya Billobata. I knew that it wasn't exactly like a Bretonnier. Very, very similar though. This one's so cute. And then we've got more Bassifera up here. I love how they've done like these little displays with the live moss. And then this one is a Philodendron Thai Sunrise. These are so bright. And like the petioles are this like little pink color. Got more Monstera Perus. Hoya Carii Variegated. And they are not just a single leaf. They're actual plant that will give you more leaves. I really don't understand what the deal is with selling like just a single one that won't grow. But look how cute this one is. So this one is an Anthurium Magnificum. Um, Anthurium... What is this? This is a mag? This looks like a hybrid, kind of, but it's got a square petiole. Who knows these days? So I do think that these are all Anthurium magnifum. I can just, I feel like I just walked into a spider web. I think this is an Anthurium crystallinum. So pretty, and then like, look at their little displays. As a former visual merchandiser, I am very, very, Happy at what I see. 
Um, I'm obsessed with these. This is what I was talking about. When Hoya Sunrises are sunstress, they are incredible. I really, really hope mine gets sunstressed soon because I want mine to look like this. And then we've got some Ethereum Clan Nerviums up there. I think those are painted ladies up there. And then Hoya. Hi! Ripsalis Paradoxa Minor. Some more mags, more crystals. I see an Ethereum VTI up there. And I think I see a Mame, a. Kind of Metallicum? I don't know. Metallicum CF and a Milano Chrysum. And then we've got this super cool um, orchid. It says that it's a Stan... I can't read. Okiwata something. So this is just so, so cool. I'm trying to not show like everything, but oh, here's a better look at some of these orchids. But I think if I had to choose, I would choose the one up here, that guy. Regular potting mix, coarse perlite. I need to grab some worm casings today. Oh, so these are Deshidia. What is this? Deshidia Million Hearts or something like that? I can't remember. They're variegated. And then we've got this cute little cart of Philodendron Pink Princess. These are $69.99. They've got a lot better variegation than some of the ones I've been seeing pop up. <laughs> got better variegation than mine. But mine's tooting along, don't you worry. She's gonna glow up. And then we've got some Philodendron Tordums. They look so interesting when they're juvenile. They've got like extra claws with these little guys. Um, let me show you. Turn them here. And then we have some white wizards. Variegation's pretty good on these. Lots of them. And this is actually one that I... Oh, that little fly is so cute. It's so tiny. I have actually been... Oh, it's on my mic. Hey! Um, this is a philodendron ring of fire. Oh my gosh, this fly won't get off of me. Philodendron golden dragon variegated. Another ring of fire. Okay, and then um, we've got orchid pots. So for everyone asking where I get my pots, this is what I was trying to tell you that like stores here just carry them. They just carry these clear pots up to a eight inch usually. The smallest one is a two or three. And then we've got, of course, pumice, large perlite, lots of will grow orchid stuff, sphagnum moss. I think I need more. That's a big brick. Wow, that's huge. $50. Ugh. And then they've got the colored Letha. I think I might grab another bag of the black one. Oh my gosh, look at how small these little allocations are. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. Some snake plants. I swear this fly will not leave me alone. More orchids. Oh, why do I want one? Why? Who am I? Who is she? Um, Aglonema? Aglonema? Humongous fiddly figs. This is Potland. Potland, 
apartment um, some money trees and then just your sort of run of the mill rubber trees um, Tratus Cantia Okay, I thought these were so cool. I've actually never seen this before. It says it's a pepperoni rosa or caparata. They're so red. Oh my gosh. I'm not a huge pepperoni lover, but I do really, really love this color. And sort of this like, sort of variegation on it. It's incredible. I'm so happy it's sunny today. It is truly a miracle. Okay, and then over here we have a Anthurium clarinervium and a Alocasia pink dragon, Alocasia watsoniana, Alocasia green dragon, Alocasia simulata. It is so crazy to see these plants here just wild. Um, Alocasia Ivory Coast. More pink dragons. More Sinuatas. And then these are like the Alocasia, just Alocasia Cupria. Or some people have been calling it like Alocasia Cupria Red. Oh, there we go. Red Secret. What's that all about? Oh my gosh, I'm cold now. Okay. More of your. Just regular um, house plants. Over here we have a few of the watermelon pepperonias. They're actually quite large and bushy. They're $14.99 and they look very healthy. And then this is actually a very big one. Look at how pink these are. Oh my word. They're so cute and pink. Okay, going over this way. These are the new homolominas that have been popping up. They've got like this really like neon yellow green color. This is Pothos Land. Got some Philodendron Brazils. Oh my gosh, they have humongous green dragons back here. Look at that monster. Let's pull them out. Oh. $20? You guys, these are $20. <laughs> Look how big it is. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. I'm resisting the urge because I already have one, but it's so hard when you've got one these big already in your face. Ugh. Another one here. Incredible. Oh my gosh, my shirt is everywhere. Okay, and then just some regular stuff. Regular stuff. We've got some small alocasia black velvet. I don't know what this one is. This is a philodendron red emerald or something like that. Oh, rubescens. The rubescens? Some Alocasia Watsoniana. <laughs> These look <laughs> insane. Some small Cuprias. Or it's Cuprias. And we've got some smaller Alocasia Dragon Scales. Look at how red this is. Crazy. Ow. Oh my god. Can I do that? He poked my butt this one. And then. Philandra and Florida Green. 
They've been labeling they've been labeling them Florida Beauty, but they're not Florida Beauty. And then Philodendron Gold Violin. Snake plants. More big fiddle leaf figs. Oh, and then over here we've got more black velvet. Mm, they have alocasia venusta. Oh my gosh, do I want it? Do I? Charmaine, this is dangerous. This is a dangerous game you're playing, Charmaine. This is not good, given that the Equigenera show is tomorrow. I want this one. Oh. And then we have some ficus. Uh, gosh. Ficus. Um, umbrella. Umbellata. Ficus umbellata. Symbonians. Um, right here we've got some Birkins, some Marantas. Calatheas. Like, one of these would look incredible on my shelf, but I just don't. I can't. I won't. <laughs> Love you guys. Oh, look at these orchids. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Like, I just want. I want the pot, but not the plant. Okay. Because I have another one like it, and I just want to get. I'm just trying to see. Let me ask. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, I gotta blast through this quick because Epigenera is here, I think, and got a film. So, just in this corner, we have some massive Rifidophora tetraspermas as tempting as it is to bring it home. I'm not going to because I already know what's going to happen the second it gets into my house. It's going to revert. It's going to be all mutated and gross. So, no. Um, we got some silver swords, some raven ZZ, little curly spider parts, something. And then more raffies. They're so beautiful, you guys. It's so hard to not want it, you know, when you see it like that. A little sport variegation. Really big Brazil. And then some ficus tineki. Oh, thank you! I forgot! <laughs> Rubber tree. She turned off the fan. Turned off the fan. Don't worry. You need to empty the, the warehouse. Oh, yeah, there should be. There should be the machine. Oh. Look at the warehouse. Yeah. There's like at least 12. I think this is the first time I've been able to film in the warehouse without the fans. This is revolutionary. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys this. Tell me why I am tempted to take this home. Why? Look at how beautiful this leaf is. It's gorge. Gorge! Some really big guys back here. Some beautiful Brazils. I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Okay. And then back here we have these, whatever these are, <laughs> something. Alocasia Amazonica. Looks like snake plant land. Oh, it's so warm in here. I'm in heaven. Oh, these are beautiful. Look how dark these are. That's incredible. I love this anyone wants to know what has been on my cacti wish list, although I do not have any more space, it's one of these, the Mexican fence post. Ugh. 
They're so neat. And then we've got more cacti. Oh, look at this. Whoa. What is that? They look like gummy bears. feels like a desert in here and I am in heaven. Ow, I think something bit in my back. Succulent. Whoa, that one's so bright back there. More succulents. This is their mother monstera plant that is not for sale, I think. I think this is Raphidophora hayi. A little bit bleached, but you know, it'll bounce back. Oh, how freaking cool. They're so bright. So bright. And then, oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Little pineapple plants. Alocasia cerium. And then we've got some xanadu in the back that I'm not going to reach for. Oh, how cute. They've topped it with like the colored leka. That's a good idea. Uh, part time. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm looking for a large fur. I haven't seen any large ferns no, right now, ferns but if they have did have it, I don't want to have to go to Home Depot. Yeah, I feel you. Typically, the ferns would be around here, but I'm not seeing any large ones. Any large ones. Yeah, they're oh, all little. Bummer. Not me helping customers like I work here. Why do I butt in? Okay. Um, so. These are more philodendron xanadus or thalmatophyllum xanadu. I already have one, so I will resist. Got these big ficus. Dude, these are humongous. Oh no, I feel my nose itching. Some Hoyas, lots of Hoyas, Hoyas galore. All right, so that is it for, for this greenhouse. Thank you, Vandula, for turning the fans off for me. I'm sorry, plants, that you have no circulation. I look rough. <laughs> oh no, my muffin. So, hello. It's um three-ish now. I've literally been there all day. I got to Vandula around 10, 30, 11. This lighting is not flattering. I look so tank. Um, and yeah, I stayed there as long as I could, but I was getting really hungry. And then I remembered it's hot. I hope no one kidnaps me. Um, I remembered I had a muffin. So, I'm at the thrift store. And I figured since I'm already out, I should try to find some vessels. And that will help me a lot for future repots. I'm probably not going to do any plant tours tonight because I need to have energy for tomorrow because it's going to be another long day tomorrow 
I'm sorry if you don't like when people talk and eat. That's so gross. Um, no, no. No, don't come in here. Shoot. Um, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be another long day. We've gotta be there bright and early around like 8.30, 8.45 probably be there until about two o'clock so I'm gonna just go home I'm going to do some editing and then I'm going to go to sleep don't think I need to redo my nails there's a few chips but whatever um and yeah just gonna rest for the rest of the night I will if I do grab any good vessels I will show you guys my little haul maybe on Sunday because Saturday I'm taking a day off. I'm gonna go do fun stuff with friends and watch a movie and go eat dinner and drink and decompress, recharge my mental health battery. Mmm, mmm, so good. I'm just gonna eat the top of this muffin. I'm on high alert for perverts. I always feel like everyone wants to kidnap me for some reason, as if I'm like highly desirable or something. Okay, anyway guys, I will most likely see you tomorrow morning. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be driving with Alice, otherwise, if I do, I'll try and vlog, I don't know. So, see you tomorrow. And then she just came into it hot. <laughs> when I was driving, I got a text and from like a like a automated thing. Yeah. It was true carnivores. I forgot to put my freezer bag out for my delivery. So can they leave it there? Cause I'm going there tomorrow. I can pick it well, up for you. They can leave. It really depends on what time they're gonna arrive. I don't mind if they leave it out. Or can like you just change bit. the delivery address to my house? Aren't we like in the oh. same zone? Because Vince Wait. is home. He's home all day? Yeah, and I could just tell him to bring it inside. And yeah, they're <sighs> super nice because Pudge has been throwing up that food I've been giving him every single day. Really? And the 14 day return or exchange policy is literally today. And so I emailed them and was like, oh my gosh, I cannot come today, but can I like exchange the last two boxes that I have? And then they were like, oh no, he's like throwing up. Like, do you want us to like, um, like take a look at the like vomit? Is it yellow? Like, do you want to take them in? Like they were like so helpful and nice. Mm. And they said that I could come tomorrow to exchange. I just hope that they have the protein that I need, which is rabbit or boar per the vet's recommendation. Right. They should. <sighs> because they were out last time they didn't even have like no rabbit no options? rabbit at all they had wow. lamb but well, I, mean, I can look right now you're gonna get car then, sick that's okay i'm already gonna throw it <laughs> okay my guy so in life you stay in your lane and i stay in yeah, mine that's the agreement it's so weird that you're driving I know, I'm her chauffeur. Is it the first time I've ever driven you anywhere? Mm -hmm. Well, I think you might have driven me across a parking lot before. Ooh. Yeah. I have a stop sign, so I'm gonna need you all. Oh, he has a stop sign too. You okay, have a stop sign ahead. too. Asshole. Fucker. I smile and say fucker. <laughs> you smile at you too. I know. <laughs> what a sweet Take girl. Take it back. Do you know what you're getting? Oh no, I don't know what I'm getting. I have anxiety. Oh. Um. um. Oh, I what like the... Oh, you like that cold brew thing. I just don't want to be super wired today. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're going to the window. I'm scared. You can get the same thing but iced. Ooh, or iced caramel macchiato. Yeah, with oat milk. Okay. And then I'll get a hot caramel macchiato with oat milk. Okay. Grande. With oat milk? Grande. You're driving. I don't care. Oh, the one time I drive out of the five million. <laughs> if you think I'm going to take your... Don't look at my, my car. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out last minute. I wish you could show the camera. Whoa, why am I so blown out? I wish I could not show the camera. Who is now self-conscious of their credit card? Or her. 
I just can't show you, but it's really ugly. It's really ugly. There's like a, is it a watering can or a bicycle? It's a bicycle. It's like someone, what? <laughs> and then like a weird leaf overlay, like clip art. It's <laughs> green, okay? <laughs> Just it's environmentally me. friendly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a gift for you. <gasps> Don't look. Here you go. <gasps> <laughs> Did you think of it? What is it? <laughs> okay, well, ugly. Morning, how are you today? Hi, good. Um, what can I get for you? Can I get an iced uh, caramel macchiato with oat milk? What's there? What size? Uh, grande, please. Okay. Um, and then can I also do that hot? I'm gonna say one but hot? Yes. For sure. So grande ice caramel macchiato with oat milk and then a grande hot caramel macchiato with oat milk? Yeah. Would you like a stopper and a straw? Um, yes please. Alright, not anything to eat? Nope. That's Perfect. gonna be it. Start keeping your feet up at the window please. Thank you. Zip it lady. <laughs> She asked me a question I wasn't prepared for, so you just say yes. Just say yes. And nod your head. Ah. Put my hair up, up, hey. No, no, leave it. Are, Are you excited? Intense. There's no. so many plants. Hi. Sorry, tap doesn't work. That doesn't work, that's totally fine. Do you need any straws with the ice cream on those? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. This is a good lady. I don't want to hear it. Thanks. Don't look at my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot the... You know what? Oh, I'll see. Thank you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You're giving me a stopper. They didn't listen to any of my instructions. <laughs> and I forgot that they have the lids now, but also I'm wearing lipstick, so... Oh, yeah. Okay, let's fucking blast there. Oh, Terrence messaged me. <gasps> Coffee! Do I want to use my straw? No, it's a paper straw. Fuck these paper straws. Your straws are not the answer. It's really not. Look how yummy this looks, but why don't you they mix just, it? Because yeah. it's a macchiato. Mm. It's supposed to be in the shot on top. Yeah, maybe I'll use my straw to stir it. Stay red. Don't. Oh, it's green. That would have been fun to get into an accident first thing in the morning. <sighs> I didn't see any of the big Gloriosums when I was there. Like for people that pre-ordered. Did you see any pre-orders? No. Well, oh. they were they were pe like separating orders when I was there. So by the time you saw them, they were already like laid out for sale? Um, no, they were just sorting them by like what each plant was. And then someone was going through like pre-order lists and pulling plants. It was a whole fucking orchestra. They had like people helping them. So the lady that was like bringing in boxes, that's she's from Ecuador. Yeah. She's, she's so the sweet. the one that did the live sale. Yeah, that's yeah. why she was like a celebrity to me. I'm like, I know. Oh my God, I've never seen you before. before. <laughs> she's like, look at me like, oh, what's this? <laughs> Don't go. Don't go. No, I'm going. I can't imagine her like doing that live sale that she did for like whatever like five hours it was straight dude That's she fun. is a workhorse that yeah. lady yesterday she was non-stop she's just zipping oh. around everywhere today's gonna be fun it's gonna be way better than last time oh my gosh like, yeah 100 times better you realize i have nowhere to go right bro he's acting like i like cut in line like do you want me to go into the fucking diner jesus <laughs> i can't believe there was no audio Alice, I'm gonna need you to figure out these audio issues before you give me a fucking hernia. It's always something. I, I don't know what it is. Why don't you just use the the the, the built-in mic? Yeah, it's it's fine. Yeah, I brought my mic today though because if we're like filming, um, I don't know, like Eugene talk. Like I want, True. I want to cancel it. Okay, how about you take a test video, listen to the audio, yeah. and make sure it works, and then yeah. Okay. Also, two like a pressing question. Yes. One pressing question. Yes. What are we buying today? <gasps> yes. Okay, so I'm picking up a Gloriosum. Okay. Cool. 
but we have to get a Nigro Lemon of Gigi. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get it any cheaper than that. Yeah, true. Right? Like, it's so warm today, though. I know. I mean, I'm not hot right now, but. But you just never know. Yeah, warming in there is gonna be hot. Yeah. High of. 65 sounds hot. It is pretty warm. It's 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 t-shirt weather. It is. Or long sleeve shirt weather. Well, it's gonna be nice today, tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna go back to. No, but I think up until Monday. Yeah, and then rain long. next week. Yeah, but somehow May long weekend is always nice weather. It's so weird. Like yeah. A four day weekend. Oh my gosh, you're probably gonna just end up working though. No. Like you two. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm not working right now. Um I'm taking the day off tomorrow. Like actually. Like gonna go watch a movie, gonna go get lunch, like be out of the house and like, like at the movie friends. theater? Yeah. Like oh. I'm literally taking a whole day off. But then I have to work the rest of the weekend. I hope that this drink doesn't make me wanna puke. Shouldn't. There's the only dairy would be in the caramel. I got a big glob of it. Seriously. But it's not like that much dairy. Yeah. Grand scheme of things. We're almost here. Woohoo! I can smell the plants. Mm. I'm so excited. Because when I left, there were still so many unopened boxes. <gasps> I think when I was there, they How only opened like six. Oh my god, I was there from there? like. When you texted me, was that when you were you going? Uh, like, was that like yeah, I was leaving the house. Mm. So I think I got there around like 11, and then I left at like 3.30, almost 4. I wonder how long we're going to stay today. Not as long as like last weekend. I was thinking maybe like 2. Yeah. Right? Like that I was, feel like... I was like thinking we were leaving around that too. Yeah, because I mean, once we get our footage, like there's really not much else other than shopping other than shopping water. yeah down there you're early all right let's bounce oh my thing's still running hi guys it feels so good to be in my plant room right now um except it looks like a hot mess i'm gonna show you guys with my iphone i'll insert it right now <laughs> so this is me that's you and this is the wreckage if you guys can't already tell by this week of plant to-dos, um, I'm just, I'm a little bit overwhelmed and I'm very busy. Uh, I'm not usually this busy, but I, it's just been like event back to back to back, doing things with friends back to back to back. And it's just been a lot. So um, the game plan uh, in my head is going to do some repots today. I have... Um, some stuff that I got from the Echo Jenner show that I need to start acclimatizing and then I might repot one or two plants that I got from Erin that need my attention then tomorrow like I said is my day off and then Sunday is cleanup day I'm gonna take you guys through it getting this whole thing uh, fresh and <laughs> in a good place and uh, yeah so and then I think on Sunday I will end this week up because I feel like we've been through a lot in the last few days so let me just kind of show you what's going on here um i don't know if you guys follow amy at wolfgang's mama she if you guys didn't know she lives near me and we were at the show together today and we planned a trade so i gave her a king of spades um stump cutting and oh, i look crazy I'm not wearing makeup but um yeah i gave her king of spades stamp cutting she put it on her story a few days ago saying that you know maybe she wants to get it and i knew that i had one that i cut from my plant so i just messaged her and was like hey like do you want it like i'd be happy to give it to you and then because she is the angel that she is she gave me two of my wish list hoyas to be honest on accident so this one is a hoya clemenciorum I have been pining for this for what feels like forever and then this guy which I don't know the name of but um, I saw this at Lauren's shop and she was trying to convince me to get it but then 
I saw the other <laughs> philodendron SP Columbia and so I had to put it down because I limited myself to one plant to buy uh, and it just so happens that Amy just randomly gave me this one and I yeah like it's so just it's so strange of all the Hoyas that she has that she could have gifted me it was the one that I wanted so thank you so much Amy if you guys don't follow Amy please follow her she just um, she's the one, she's the, one of the very, very few, uh, plant YouTubers that I watch that she just has, like, such a calm, soothing, um, relaxing, chill vibe about her. She has such a sweet, like, um, soothing voice. I don't know how to explain it. And I love just playing her videos in the background and listening to her talk and watching her love on her plants. She is one of my favorites. I've been watching her since before I started my channel. And um, yeah, I love her so much. So thank you so much, Amy. Please go follow her. She's amazing. I'm hoping that we can do a video together one day. Uh, that would be amazing. So, ha, ha, ha. here's my first purchase from the show. By the way, everyone from Echogenera is just so freaking amazing. I got to meet some people from the Vancouver Orchid Society, um, and they're all so knowledgeable and amazing. Uh, if you watch my Echogenera video that I posted on Wednesday, uh, you would have seen a little clip of Eugene's little um, potting and orchid FAQ. I could listen to that man speak all day long. Just hearing him talk about orchids was incredible. The part that I loved the most, you guys, is when he just chopped off all those roots and was talking about how the import roots that come in are like, they're not going to do anything. And this is what I've been trying to tell people. Like, come on, dude. He has 40 years in this hobby. The guy knows what he's talking about. And people come for me all the time when I um chop off roots like I, I just it's, it's crazy to me I'm like come on you guys I need a scissor yeah it was very very satisfying to watch and to listen and to just to kind of get reassurance that some of the things that I've been doing for my plants are not bad and you know it's there's like logic to it so that was that was like my favorite part. When he was saying that, you couldn't see me behind the camera, but I was like, yeah, yes. Sorry, it's taking me so long to open this. One thing I will say about Equigenera is that I wish they didn't use plastic for many reasons. Obviously, it's plastic, and things just rot easily. It kind of smells funky. Oh, I can't believe I have one. I'm so happy. Okay, so this is an Ethereum Nigrolaminum GG, and some of you might remember I featured this in the North Shore Tropicals video that I did last week or two weeks ago, and um, Lauren has a humongous one. I will throw in the photo here in case you need a reminder, and I have just been pining for this. So uh, this is also being referred to as the Anthurium SP Napo, and I almost imported one in the last import that we did, but for some reason, I just decided against it, and I ended up getting another Gloriosum, which was the biggest mistake ever <laughs> because I ended up getting just the regular Gloriosum Verde. I got two of them. And I, yeah, much, I would have much rather spent the money and got one of these. So it's fine, you know. She's here now, she's home, and the leaves are just incredible. They're so dark and just like, they're so stiff and they just have such a lovely texture to it. So of course I had to grab one, Alice grabbed one. These ones went quick. They only brought maybe, um, I think I saw like four or five of them and by the time that Jing arrived and wanted to get one too, they were all gone. So I think maybe the demand for these are higher than I thought, but I honestly didn't even really think this plant was on anyone's radar. Okay, so... Not the worst. These roots are very clean. 
I'm actually not going to be chopping off any of these roots. Um, I already know some of them. Many of them, like these little ones, they're likely not going to make it. Um, I've got some broken ones here. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for now uh, because I'm going to let it acclimatize. I'm going to let it sort of get adjusted to life in Canada. But I am going to clean this off. I'm going to rinse it under the sink, just kind of give it a good wash down wash these roots and then I think I'm going to acclimatize in the choose upon. I just think that I'm, I don't know, after my last import and just seeing how well they're doing, I'm kind of a pro the choose upon acclimatization stan. This was much larger of an orchid that I want than I wanted to get. I honestly was gonna get a micro orchid. I said I was gonna get a micro orchid, but I'm gonna throw in a clip from the Equigenera show here of the, um, it's called, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to learn all of these orchid names and how to say them, but I think it's Phragmipedium, Phragmipedium, Pedium, Phragmi, Phragmipedium, Leslie Gray and um, I someone from the Orchid Society brought their personal plant and I think it might have been Eugene's and he had it at the potting bar as a display and it had these long sort of it's part of the flower but sort of these long I don't know I don't know the word I'm looking for but it's a part of the flower that hangs off of it and it just grows and grows and grows and grows until it hits the Floor, and once it can sense that it's on the floor it stops growing and then that allows ants to come up and go into the flower and fertilize it and it's amazing and it was one of the most beautiful flowers I have ever seen um, after this show I am convinced I am an orchid girl like a lot of people on YouTube have commented a bunch saying how I need more orchids and I had loved orchids for the foliage, typically. I really liked the super strappy ones or the ones that looked, you know, more aeroid like Oh gosh, it's rough. But now I'm like, I understand the appeal of the flowers. So, uh, I am quite nervous. This wasn't very expensive. I think I paid 40, 41. I paid 41 Canadian. Um, for this, oh, it smells funky. This time around, the Equigenera show was much more organized. Bandula did an incredible job of making sure that um, everything was like set for them. They had a food truck come or like an ice cream truck come, and they had a Q and A. They did the potting. Like they they just put so much thought and effort into it. I just I always knew that Bandula was gonna be such a great venue so <laughs> it stinks it smells really bad all of the roots are rotten and so I'm gonna have to chop all of this off and this is gonna be the first time that I'm acclimatizing um, an orchid uh, I did pick Eugene's brain a little bit about this so Eugene said that this grows along the floor or along the ground and there's always a constant um, water source from a stream um, and so basically he said you know keep it potted in like a barky um, perlite mix and then just keep it in a tray of water at all times and just kind of make sure that those roots are always uh, having nutrients oh I knew this was too planned I knew it you guys he said not to split it but it's like like, I swear that there are two plants in here. I mean, they're connected technically, but I feel like I could break. Okay, I'm gonna start chopping off these roots. This moss smells absolutely foul. Oh, it stinks. It smells really musty and like dusty and nasty. I need to go blow my nose. <laughs> it stinks. Okay, it is hot in here. We're just gonna start chopping away at every single one of these roots. I want them all gone.
you guys it's so mushy this part right here is like soft I think I'm gonna really go in with my scraper and just try and get it as clean as possible because this is bad is this pretty common um, talking to orchid people for like an orchid import like do the roots I know that the roots are very very like thick and um, juicy so I imagine especially a plant like this that's used to having a constant water source would likely not do well um, just being kind of shipped in moss and then put in a plastic bag so I'm also not super surprised this might be one of the most gnarly um, chonk cleans that I will ever do in my life I don't know if you guys can see but this is just really mushy like it's it's soft and I kind of want to see what's going on under here and get like the stem exposed like do you guys see this he Eugene told me not to separate it but like look at that these are two like I honestly feel like it can be split there's like so many like there's actually technically three one two three you know what I'm just gonna YOLO I'm gonna do it I'm gonna just chop this right here so let's work on this one first there's so much bark in here okay I'm gonna FaceTime Alice and give her the update on my orchids. Hi. It's Alice, everyone. Oh, she's in her shirt. Show me shirt. Oh, it's so cute. Aw, looks so good on you. So, um, what you doing? Uh, I'm just with my Gloriosum. <laughs> Your angry <laughs> Gloriosa. Did you uh, unpot your orchids yet? No. I'm not about to do it. Why? Mine was all rotted. Uh oh. Good now. Open it. Open it. I'm not really. It's okay. It's going to be on my channel then. <laughs> yeah. It stinks yeah. so bad, dude. It literally smells like a crusty thrift store. It's so bad, but I separated it. There were like three of them in there. Oh, no. oh God, I knew it. Is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, mine look exactly like that. Does it stink? I mean, it smells like, like decaying wood. It doesn't smell like a thrift store. Mine smells like, yeah, decaying wood and a thrift store. It's so bad. It's just all coming off. Oh, yours is actually a little bit better than mine, I think. Mine was like really soft and mushy. And even a little bit of the stem. I can see some like okay roots. Oh, that's good. It's not so bad. That's that's the $8 extra that I paid. Dude, you should have told them to price match it. I know, but it's labeled as something else. Oh. <gasps> what the heck? Wait. Shut oh my god, it's just a nub. It's so funny. Well, not bad. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Dude, it yeah. looks exactly like your angry glory. That's insane. Okay, let's open the Yeah. You guys can watch. Fun. I'll just have to refer everyone to your video. Yeah. It'll be in my week of plant to do's. 
I just, I can't film today. And oh, you didn't film at all? I mean, I filmed not for this video. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so I just, I need to get these in water and stuff, so it's not happening. I'm nervous. How many orchids did you get? Three? Three. She's an orchid girl. I got four orchids. Oh, that one's so cute, the leaves. Oh, this one's not bad. Oh, nice. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. I can see all the little hairs with the ends. I've already come yeah, up. yeah. Oh, but these feel really nice. Oh, dang it. I wish I There's felt it. Okay, well, I'll separate it for you when it's... <laughs> no. It's so bushy and cute. Oh, my gosh. That looks so cute in my XO. Aww. Or my Oh. Goodbye, goodbye. I'm so happy you're not in jeans. Oh yeah, I'm in, I'm in leggings. Good for you. Those days are past. Good for you. I think I'm nice looking at now. Okay. This one will be a cute sharing one. It's so like tall and bushy. I know. I swear there's three separate plants in mine. If it just falls apart, then I have to separate it, but I won't force it. That's not bad. Not like, yeah, they're not like dried out or anything. Yeah, it's not amazing, but it's not as bad as the, the other one that we got. Isn't that so cute though? Oh my gosh, I love those leaves. Um, did you get a, did you get a mini orchid? No. Oh, neither of us did. Dang it. Yeah. Did you open your um, Nigro Lemon and Gigi? Oh, oh. I didn't really get a good look at yours. I barely got a good look at mine. I think yours might be slightly larger than mine. Really? Yeah. I can't believe how quick they went. Though. Oh my gosh. They had five of them, I believe. And so that means... By the time Jean got to that table, it's gone. Yeah. I got them all. I guess we'll find out in the group. Let's look at how hers came in. thin roots. Yeah, mine are really baby too. I'm not really sure if it's going to fall off, but I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, they're, they're really white. Oh my god, so much tape. They're bleached. <laughs> Those are some roots. I feel they're like they're so going to just fall off. I know, I'm telling you, they're bleached, man. Look at mine. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. Aww. Green on the screen, but it's so much darker in your life. Yeah, so dark. Oh, I didn't show your plant on my camera. So Which one? The one you're holding, the X. Oh, okay. It's oh, so shoot. cute. It's the show. Look. Oh, oh no. It didn't look like that earlier. Mm -hmm. No. Dang it. That's gonna go. Yeah. Oh man. The texture of it. What do you? What would you explain it as? Like a. It's like a grainy leather. Yeah. You know. Uh huh. Like a high grain. It's so nice though. And like Real the texture is like it has like a velvety sheen, but it's like matte at the same time. Okay. Do, do you know? Um, when Alexander Wang got big, mm -hmm. got those like, they're like little, little, not duffel bags, what are those like, kind of like, what's, what's that style of bag that Speedy is? Oh, yeah, yeah. It feels like that bag. Oh, oh yeah, actually, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really my gosh. Like, at leather. Yeah. Like, like that's where the velvetiness comes from, but it's not like super velvety, but it no. has like really like grainy, like it's it's on it's honestly unlike any anthurium I've ever felt. Yeah, uh, I think it's 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 like rubulosum but with a wider grain. Okay, good to know. Let me show you my um look at Oh <laughs> Look at this. You're filming the cleanup right now? 
yeah and then i'm just gonna i think i am just gonna leave them in water until tomorrow and then i'll repot tomorrow even though i'm supposed to be off of work but i don't know yeah, if anything if anything i might just repot like my gg or two two hour videos oh no my begonia <laughs> oh no trouble in paradise yeah. okay. okay alice say bye to everyone Ah, wait, say it again. My sister texted me. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Okay, I'll let Bye. you get to editing. Okay. Okay, good night. <laughs> Thanks, yes. you too. You too. Okay, so I'm just going to get to cleaning. I'm probably going to time lapse most of this because it's getting late and I've got to be up early tomorrow to run some errands. No, 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 no. You guys, it smells so foul. Like, you know what it smells like? Okay, here's what it smells like. It smells like decaying wood. It smells like, oh, oh, it keeps splattering on me. It smells like when you leave, like, um, like stagnant propagation water for too long or like dirty lechuza pond. You know that like nasty mucky smell and then also like thrift store it's exactly what it smells like it's actually one of the most awful things I've ever smelled and I don't know why I'm not wearing a mask because it keeps splattering on me and I'm gonna hurt I have given it a good rinse and what I'm gonna be doing is soaking it in water and a little bit of hydrogen peroxide overnight just to kind of clear up as much of that gunk that i can't get in there because i don't think you guys realize how dirty and just stinky it is honestly if it didn't smell bad i would probably just say who cares and just leave it but it stinks badly yeah so you can kind of see the hydrogen peroxide at work there's some bubbles I did like use a pretty strong spray to spray the uh, the roots and you can see things sort of already floating off so I will do this with pretty much any plant that has a uh, really nasty stem or root situation so that is no different that's nasty um, but now we're just gonna get this one potted up and then honestly I might do one more and then I'm gonna call it a night But there's really not much cleaning that I have to do to this. It's freakishly clean, but I am going to be Acclimatizing this in lechuza pond. I'm just gonna give this a good rinse before I get it potted
This one is repotted and I'm just gonna add a little rock here for some stability since it's a little bit heavy where this new leaf is. Hopefully it finds its way and <laughs> doesn't stick this way anymore and kind of falls down that way, but I am gonna add water to this right away and um, make sure it doesn't dry out. I do not currently have space. I guess it's 10.30. <laughs> I don't have space in my um, acclimatization bin, so I'm actually just going to stick this straight into my tent, which is a huge risk for a new import, but I do have tons of predatory mites crawling around in there, so I'm feeling a little bit better about that. But I think the next one that I'm gonna do is just get these out of here. Um, these are fresh cuts. Oh my gosh, even her cups are cute, look. And of course it's compostable. Amy, little cutie, okay. This perlite is yummy, it's so coarse. It's just deep enough. I'm gonna go like this so that I can get some of these roots inside of pond too. I'm not liking this angle. So tomorrow my husband and I are going to watch Doctor Strange, which I'm super excited about because I loved that movie so much. And I never used to watch anything Marvel until I married him and now I'm like completely hooked and I have been itching to watch a new Marvel movie. Oh my gosh, this Hoya is so cute. I love it. Sorry, I did that one off of, off camera, but that one was a pretty easy repot. I feel like these are going to do pretty well because she gave me some great, great cuttings. Already had some roots on them, so it's just a matter of kind of continuing the work she's already done for me. But I am going to put this into my Hoya cabinet straight away. And uh, yeah, hopefully they like life here. All right, guys, I think I have it in me for one more repot. It's just who is it gonna be is the question. Um, I've got a few from Erin here. I wanted to repot the Allocation Mellow, but it's pushing out a new leaf right now, so that can't happen. Um, hmm. Oh my gosh, my new Syngonium Chia Pen Sleeve is so cute. Too lazy to take it out. Uh, okay, let's look. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Okay, this one's gonna be very hard to show, but this is a, um, I always forget the name of this, variegated heliconia. And um, it is definitely outgrowing this vessel and it's pushing out a baby. I've never propagated any of these before. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wait till it's emerged to separate it, but um, I actually wouldn't mind keeping it together. I just think I need to get it out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh boy. Oh, and I have a new vessel. Oh my gosh. There's another growth point. Oh, it's growing the wrong way. There's another one that's growing, but it's growing downward. <laughs> Oh no. So I just read these two comments that came in today on my post and it said, I wanted to say hi earlier, but I got shy. What an awesome event. I wanted to say thank you for helping to organize. And then someone else said, oh my gosh, same. You guys, if you see me in person, please say hi. I'm not very good at like, just going up to people and being like, hey, how are ya? So if you recognize me and you spot me in the wild, please come say hi, please. It would make my day so much. And trust me, you do not have to be shy around me. Um, I'm super socially awkward, so I will either overshare something with you or I will be like overly ecstatic or all of the above or say something that will definitely break the ice because of how awkward I am. So just do it. Let me just kind of embarrass myself. I'm super used to it. I'm willing to take one for the team. 
And then at least like when we see each other again, because you know, our local community, we're super close, then at least we can just say hi and we'll know each other. It's just hard to um, like recognize people from their profile photos, especially if you're wearing a mask. So um, yeah, I just have a hard time recognizing because I, I recognize names, I recognize handles. Instagram handles and whatever, but I'm just not good with the face. This thing is not great <laughs> These roots are fine though. Um, when I first acquired this plant the roots were actually Already like this and I was kind of thinking like oh are these dead, but then all the new ones grow like that, too So it's just the way of this plant, I guess All right, so <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about this little fellow down here that thinks he's gonna be able to live life under soil, but I can see that this one grew downward and then it grew up. So I think the same, the same thing might happen. This one will go down and then grow back up. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it in one that's a lot wider. I got this one when I was at the thrift store the last time I took you guys. Well, we were in the parking lot, but I got this one for $2.99. And you can see it's got plenty of space in here. So this is gonna be much better. I do need, um, lechuza, not lechuza pond. Ow, might go. I can't walk around in here. It's a freaking, jeez Louise, man. Ah! I'm actually really excited to clean on Sunday because I just, I can't stand to look at it anymore. Oh, no. Oh, pawn. You're not gonna get me this time, dude. Whoa! I'm feeling good about this. I didn't even realize there's a new leaf coming. But, um, to be fully honest, I'm very surprised that this is still alive. Erin did tell me that it was a super, super easy plant. I didn't believe her just because of the way it looks. I can kind of see a weird fungally thing happening, I think. I don't see any on this leaf, but like, look at this right here. I'm gonna move this since I'm done repotting for the night. Thank goodness. I actually do have a little bit of energy left in me, but it's it's extremely hot in here. I'm actually, like, I can feel sweat forming on my forehead. Okay, so, yeah, I was looking at this leaf right here. Like, that doesn't look great. But this one's actually living outside of a cabinet right now, and um, it's getting tons of airflow. I don't see why it would have a fungal thing. Surprisingly, it doesn't have spider mites. So anywho, um, yeah, this is the variegated heliconia. Besides a little bit of spots and whatever's going on, it's actually quite healthy. Uh, it must be happy because it's pushing out so much new growth. There's a new leaf coming in. It looks like it's gonna have beautiful variegation. Yeah, this is my poor man's musa. I would love to own a Musa, I just know that I don't have the space to accommodate what it needs. I don't have faith in myself to grow it outside of a greenhouse. So this is kind of the next best thing for me. I think that eventually once these new growth points come out, I will either uh, separate it and give it to mo my mom or just give my mom the whole thing. If this is an adult thrip, I'm gonna scream. False alarm. Anyway, um, yeah, that is it for me tonight. I am going to take the day off tomorrow, but I will see you on Sunday. I'm not going to do any repotting or anything on Sunday. Sunday is my cleaning day, and that's it. And then we're going to wrap this baby up. So good night, everyone. See you in a bit. Hi, Pudge. Happy Sunday. Is today Sunday? 
What day is it? <laughs> Sunday? Say hi to your friends. Say hi friends, miss you. Sorry, I haven't been in this video too much. Oh my gosh, your face is so dirty. All right guys, feast your eyes on this. <laughs> This is the product of bringing home a crap ton of new plants over the last week, uh, having a crazy filming schedule, uh, trying to find time to wash my body and do other things and control spider mites and it's just been, it's been a lot you guys, it's, it's a mess, it's a freaking mess, nothing has been watered in forever, look at my crystal mag up there, oh my gosh. So the game plan in here is to uh, obviously get everything cleaned up and then um, get things watered. My seedlings are so thirsty. Plants in my exo are so thirsty. It's just a lot. I, I really have a ton to do. So I don't think I'm going to be talking all that much. Um, I'm probably just going to time lapse this whole thing just to get through it because I do have to do grocery shopping today. I have to cook meals and yeah, Sundays are just kind of my days of getting my life in order. So I don't have a ton of time to just be filming, but just to give you a scope of things, I've got to get this orchid potted. Um, I need to clean my substrates. I need to get this exo back in order. It has been completely dismantled. All of my anthuriums are so thirsty oh my gosh but this is real life you guys like this is pretty oh this is pretty much what my plant room looks like uh on a weekly basis after just a week of working and a week of life i don't even know it's just it's bad so anyway ow <laughs> i'm tripping over everything so yeah i'm just gonna like set the camera up and just kind of show you what it looks like to get things back in order probably gonna take me a few hours to get everything done, but uh, we will get there.
All right, so I'm just wrapping up here. I look, guys, it's so hot, which is why I'm like half naked basically. Um, you would have seen that I did some repotting and these are plants that are going to my neighbor upstairs. Uh, she just has an empty windowsill and wants to have some plants for summer. So I am, I'm hooking her up. So I've given her a philodendron dark lord. I gave her a propagation of my Hoya abovada and then I gave her that begonia that I was repotting. I was going to give it to my mom, but I'm not feeling really great about moving it to, um, like transporting it from here to California. Uh, without it just throwing a absolute tantrum and I'm trying to not give my mom plants that would stress her out uh, But yeah, the plant room for the most part is clean. It's as clean as it's gonna get I do have to film another video Tomorrow, so um, I'm gonna have some stuff kind of everywhere to prep for that video But otherwise I am done this week of plant to do's has been wild I did film for more days than I typically would but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the madness that has been the last week and a half or so and I I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's My life is not usually this sort of like action packed with plant stuff. I just feel like now that it's warming up a lot of places are taking the opportunity to host events and do things and yeah my friends and I haven't seen each other really for a while so we have just been seeing each other like crazy um, like every opportunity we can get obviously we had to celebrate our Aaron's birthday um, but yeah it's just it's overflowing with plants now I think that I'm gonna have to do a decluttering video soon I am very inspired by the video I just watched of Alice's to just get rid of things that don't bring like spark joy anymore um, but also keep in mind that there are plants that I keep because I'm eventually going to be giving them to my mom, my grandma, my sister. So um, I'll have I'll have to hold on to these plants until about August. Anywho, I am going to get out of here. I'm just going to tidy up some last few things and then I'm going to get out of the plant room for the rest of the day because it's a beautiful day and I kind of just want to be out in the living space. I just want to maybe watch a movie and decompress and uh, I want to cook something. I got to go grocery shopping tonight. Just life, you know, it's really hard sometimes to balance um, personal life with plants and um, YouTube, but I am I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, but I've got some good videos coming up for you guys in the future, some videos that I'm really excited to film and share with you. So it's going to be another busy few weeks of plant to-dos, and I probably won't do another one of these series to the end of next month, uh, just because they kind of take a lot out of me to be filming every single day and do something every single day, which is not a bad thing. I feel like it really motivates me to just get my ass into gear and do some of the stuff that I really procrastinate on and so thank you guys again for helping me through that. You guys watching my videos help me, sorry I'm like I can see one of my plants being burned by a grow light right now. Um, Vince is home with Pudge. Don't mind the noise, the boys are home but um, yeah you guys definitely helped me get a lot more done than you think so thank you so much uh i'm gonna get out of your hair i'm so sorry if this was another like two maybe three hour video a lot has happened in the last few days so i wouldn't even doubt it but uh don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps pudge and I's visibility a lot on youtube and we would really appreciate that thank you guys for sticking around and i will see you in the next one